Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing a so-called level two version of a very famous problem that is find all four sum numbers. So before we start, let me talk about the feedback of this problem. So I told level two that is indeed a level two. So this problem is nothing but I can say a wrap of the very famous problem two sum problems. So we would be first discussing that problem and then we would coming then we would be coming back to this problem and this problem would make more sense. So if you see this problem in the very first instance you would kind of get bizarre enough. So let's start off. Okay so now let's say we are given a sorted array. Okay we are given a sorted array and instead of finding here four numbers here we just need to find two index okay which let's say sums up the value x which sums up the value x so let's just define an array one two three four five six seven okay so i need two index which sums up the value x okay so at this point if you know the solution then i would suggest you that you skip this part but if you have not seen up this question i would suggest you that kindly just learn the intuition of it i won't explain the whole solution in depth but the intuition is the most important one so i would be focusing on this point so if you observe that let's say the given value is something as 7 okay let's say the given value is 7 so i need to select two index okay so the very first approach is that i would keep i would select one index and i would iterate over all the other index and see if this index and this index make up the value x or not like let's say the given index is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let's take the value same as indexing. So for 0, we would run a loop from, let's say this is i. So we would run a loop from i is e j is equals to i plus 1 and j is less than n and j plus plus. And we would say, the value of the value of i a of i added to the value of a of j if it is equal to equal to the value x then it is good enough else we would simply iterate next time i would be more so we would just have nested loops so for one index we are iterating on all the other index so for one index we are iterating so for i can say for one index I am iterating n minus 1 index. So for n index multiplying n on both sides, we would be we would be iterating on n square. Why? Because ignoring the constants itself. Okay, so we are ignoring the constants. So the time complexity of this particular one is nothing but n square. Can we have a better solution than this? So we can think of better solution. So in the brute force solution we can observe that the major time taken is to iterate like we are selecting an index the major time is taken on iterating over this one okay then we select the next index then the major time is taken by this one so one optimization that comes to my mind is i need to find a way where i don't really need to iterate over all the index I don't need to do it good enough so if I don't want to iterate over all the values or all the so-called values I need to go to the meaningful ones okay like agar sab pe nahi jana to mujhe usi indexes pe jana hai jo mujhe kaam hai correct so now in this fashion let's just remove all this annotations and let's start with the very basic Let's say I start off with i as the smallest index, smallest value. 
and j with the largest value good enough now 7 plus 1 is equals to 8 okay 8 is greater than the desired value that is 7 so if i want to lower down the sum of i and j i should operate on which one see if i make i go this side that is if i make i go to 2 the sum would be 2 plus 7 that is 9 sum would be sum would be made more if i move i from that side to this side so i would say if i increment i sum would increase if i decrement j because i can't be i can't be decremented why because i is the bounder if i de decrement j then sum would be lowered down why because as you can see let's keep that as one and let's just make this as this so now one plus six is equals to seven earlier it was eight good enough so i can see by this example that if i if the desired sum is less and current sum is more then i need to lower down the sum by moving j that is yes kind of i have this intuition from this simple example let's see i have one and seven and the current value was eight so if i want to lower down the value and made it to seven what i can really do is i need to lower down the value so i would make j go here and i would say yes the value would be lowered down good enough seems good yes so let's take some more examples to understand it better okay just keep this idea in mind and let's take some more examples okay so now let's start off we have zero and we have minus one we have two we have minus three and we have one okay so given the value what we really need to do is we need to find x is equals to minus 2 our target element is x the very first thing what we would do is we would simply sort this array so after sorting this would look something like this minus 3 minus 1 minus 3 minus 1 then we have 0 we have 1 and then we have 2 itself good enough now we would take two pointers like we learned earlier we would take pointer i we would take pointer j good enough now minus 3 plus 2 is equals to minus 1 okay so minus 1 is greater than minus 2 so we need to lower down the sum if we want to lower down the sum then we need to make j minus minus so from here we would go to this point so now minus 3 plus 1 okay minus 3 plus 1 is equals to minus 2 and yes minus 2 is the desired value here so we would say this particular value and this particular value sums up to this value we can find this result so if the current i plus j so we would the idea is we would initialize i as 0 j as n minus 1 and if a plus j a a of i plus a of j if it is greater than the desired sum we would lower down the sum by doing j minus minus if it is less we would we would we would increase the value by i plus plus we can do that see the idea is very clear see if the this plus this is equals to more then we need to make this go this side why because if this goes this side the sum would be more if we want to lower if we want to increase the sum then this should go to this side then the sum would be more that is why we are doing this so this idea is by two pointers algorithm we in we sort the values we initialize two pointers on the very left and very right and then we do the iterations accordingly okay so now we know that we have a superpower okay we have a superpower or let's say a feature where we find where we can find two sum problem two sum now for finding three sum what we can really do is 
one index we can select by for loop like one index would iterate from zero till the value of n and the rest two index can be found out by the two sum thing like the two sum property because we have an idea for two sum but not for three sum so for three sum what we can do is we can just select one index from the for loop for loop can do the work of selecting one index and the rest two index can be selected by this two sum property now here in this question we have something known as for sum okay we need to do for sum at this point what we need to do is we need to have two as as you got the idea we would have one one index would be selected by one for loop the next would select the next for loop and the rest two would be selected by the two sum idea and that would be done this is the pseudo code now let us move to the implementation and we would have a better idea okay so we would say that if the array is less than size 4 so there can't exist four indexes like the size is only less than four so we would simply say while a dot size is less than equal to four okay then we would simply return a blank okay then at this point we would make this a simple a and then at this point we would say int n is equals to a dot size because we would require the size again and again so it's better that we simply do it yep if n is less than 4 we would return it else we would initialize the answer so whatever is the return type we would just write it as answer the answer variable would have this okay so now we need to sort the whole array because two sum works on the sorted array so a dot begin comma a dot end itself because it works on the sorted array now we need to select the first index by doing i is equals to zero i is less than n and i plus plus but one thing to note here is that if i is just see this let's say there are five elements if i is at this position if i is at this position rest three val rest three values can be selected if i at this this position rest three values would be this but let's say if i is at this position we can't select the rest three values here why because this so we would simply say i should go till the point where it is less than equal to three from the end so we would do y n is less than three okay like after selecting i there should be three indexes left on the right hand side it's done we would do the same thing for int j is equals to for int j is equals to i plus one i plus one and j is less than a dot size minus two and this is at this point it would be j plus plus then we have this we would now use the two sum property itself okay for the leftover values so we would have initialized for int left that is this side is equals to what j plus one so we would simply select j plus one then we would select right is equals to from the left right and left this side right is equals to what n minus one okay left and right now we would say while left is less than equal to right okay so we would say and sum is equal to a of left plus a of right okay fair enough now we would say that if the sum is equals to equals to the given value k that means i j left right everything would come into place so answer dot 
push back what i comma j comma left comma left comma right we would push back this okay if it is equal if it is less then left should go here else if sum is less than k then left should be plus plus if it is else it would be here the sum is more so right should be minus minus at this point okay this is done at the end we need to return the value of answer this is correct i can say but a small modification still needs to be done so let's see this in action fair enough so at this point the solution is correct but now we need to remove the duplicates that is which is on top of each other the given values is the given questions ask us that we need to find all unique values this is what is asked so if we want to find the unique values what we can do is this is the solution of four sum but what if we want to find the unique ones to find the unique ones what we really can do is we can do something like if this particular i like we can just implement at each point because if particular i a of i has been seen before like a of i has been seen before okay and in a sorted array of let's say one two two five four okay so let's say i want the value as so like let's say three some value and i want the value to be 11 so 254 this 254 this 254 can also contribute and this 254 also can also contribute so i need to remove the consideration of the second two so what i can do is when i come to this two i can just check if the previous value was same or not if the previous value was same for either i j left right then i need to skip that one so i would simply check the previous value is same or not okay so now i would just directly paste this small if condition everywhere okay so let me just paste this okay so now let me just quickly explain what i did in the last few seconds so at this point if the value a of i is greater than k then it is a small optimization at this point which is required and the very next one is if the current value is equal to previous value in the same example if you can see if the given value if the given value we want is 11 then this 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 one this one this one would contribute as well as this one this one this one would contribute so we just need to see at this point if this value is equal to the previous value if that is the case we need to skip that case because next va pichla wala pehli calculate ho chuka so we need to skip this particular case and this would be the same thing removing duplicates while this left is equals to the previous value while this right is equals to the previous value previous right previous left if it is same then it is good enough else we would simply push that value okay seems good we are doing the same thing if the sum is more we are moving forward the right pointer if the sum is left we are moving forward the left pointer Apart from that, everything remains the same. Now let us just compare and see how many errors are we making. If not, we are good enough to go. Okay. That's it for today. Thank you and have a nice day. Just before leaving, let me tell you one small thing. That is the time complexity of this solution is that we are sorting. So two sum is sorting plus big O of n. If it is already sorted, then it is big O of n. Not sorted, then big O of n log n. Okay. Talking about this one, we are selecting two numbers by for loop. So it is n square multiplied by big O of n. Why? Because n log n is an individual, like we sorted in the above. Okay, that is why it is n log n plus n square and then plus n. Okay, that is n, n cube plus n log n for sorting. That's it for today. Thank you. This is Ms. Adal Hazra signing off.